Hey guys, it's Oracle Goddess, and today I wanted to go over um, with a good morning, how are you, and blessings to everybody who has been um, going through stuff, the holidays are coming up, and I wanted to just give beautiful, beautiful blessings to everybody who has, you know, don't think you're down and out, don't think there's nobody that can um, can oppose you, and um, always, always you are a child of a goddess, so shine, um, as one of my close friends used to say. So, today I wanted to go over a few things with um, where life paths and stones come into play in our life. Sometimes we don't know how to do um, birth charts. Um, I know how to do birth charts. Um, the um, birth date town you were born in, time to the exact second, and the atmosphere um, and the location you were, you were born in. So I wanted to, um, I have my notes over here. So in case I'm looking down reading, that's what I'm doing. All right. So, um, so numerology um, and associations, the stones listed the correspond with each number of our life path. So, um, life path is, um, I don't, some people believe it, some people don't, that we were brought back here to, um, to work off our karmic debts. Some people believe, um, don't believe in reincarnation. That's your thing. But we all have a life path. Um, and they have, uh, ascended master numbers and single digits digit numbers usually, but, um, 11, 22, 33, those are ascended master numbers. So, um, let's continue. So, um, pretty much the stones, um, list, uh, the stones that vibrate within for the numeric life path. Um, and vibration is not a specific term. It's, um, it has nothing to do with the movement of, uh, um, subatomic particles. The vibrations are calculations using the stones, uh, name with the number chart. So that's key. Um, so life path number one. Topaz and amber. And the reason why I've chose those are because um, stones that vibrate with the number one. Um, azurite, bronzite, copper, obsidian, and turquoise. Um, the number of solitude, permanence, unity roots, Beginning divine spark, self expression, um, ambition, and courage. Um, others say it is very, it's unisex, it's not male or female, so you don't have to be like, oh, is it a girl thing or is it a guy thing? No, it is very um, unique in its own character. And sometimes you could be a male with um, feminine qualities and you can be a female with masculine qualities. It does not matter. So um, there is no he or she in divine it is just an essence in itself. So, um, all right. So basically being added to odd numbers, making it even for the, um, makes the even odd. If that makes sense, I'll get into it in a few minutes. It's the center of the circle, the sun, willpower, determination. Um, the gods, Apollo and Jupiter. And the goddess Vesta, hearth center, um, were associated with this number. The number rules the signs of Leo. In a grid, you may consider of these elements pretty much as the center to represent the sun, life, and the spark of the spirit. So, um, if you come across your um, your life chart, or I might actually start doing free life charts. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just, you know, not free. And free Tarot Tuesday, I'm going to stop putting up still. But the life charts, um, I'll put a link of the description below of where you can go to ask for a life chart reading. And I can definitely do that for you. So let's continue. Life path number two. Um, moonstone, silver, pearl, and emeralds. Stones that vibrate with the number two, um, boronite, garnet, gypsum, gold, granite, howlet, iron, sapphire, and tourmaline. 
these two symbolize reflection, polarity, duality, balance, and harmony of, um, of opposites. And um, meaning of opposites is because you can keep yourself calm um, around, you know, op opposing, opposing people in your life. So don't be discouraged. Um, the unconscious mind duality of humanity. Uh, in the divine emotions, ha harmony, and um, let me see, and pretty much, let me see down here, it helps with wealth, mystery, marriage, feminine energy, the moon, um, peace, re um, receptivity, uh, considered to, to be do, do it, um, and divided, the mother, but also separates polarity. Two is associated with Isis, Diana, and Ceres, the mother figure. Two rules of the sign of Cancer. And grids used to represent harmony of opposites, male or female. Or you can consider two symbolic of illusion, like the moon card in tarot. So, um, if you have any questions about anything that I'm not reaching or you don't understand, feel free to leave comments below. I'm just trying to get a, um, a, a rundown of what these stones mean and how, how we can do something, you know, and, and people don't understand life astrology. So with the stones and everything that we do, we can make a life difference, whether you're working on yourself, someone else, um, a family member, a love member, things like that. So we can always try to use our life path, understand ourselves better, because it's us first, us second, us third. And then that's just the way it is. So number three, turquoise. Stones that vibrate to the number three. Amber. Amethyst. Diamond. Lapazuli. Pyrite and ruby. And the reasons why I jotted those down is because um, three represents um, synthesis, um, movement, divinity, manifestations, trinity, creative, joy, bridge between sky and earth. You know, they, 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 they sometimes are up here and will have the most divine spiritual experiences that some people just like, oh man, I wish I, you know, I wish I could go through that. Or, um, pretty much the oracles oracles of um apollo set upon a tripod the number began uh be, being equilibrium the number of one knowledge and wisdom um so it's the loveliest of harmonies aside um of octave itself made up of the monad and duat the triad was sacred and was associated with the god saturn the goddess hecate um, Hecate, as you know, my goddess. The gods Pluto and Triton. And three fates, furies, and graces. The number three is ruled by the planet Jupiter and is the number of the sign of Sagittarius. For a grid, use for sacred trinity of any kind. Maiden, mother, crone. So... <laughs> I, I, I love that made of mother crone. So you could use a grid and use a trinity, like a triangle, going either up up or down. Um, but we'll get into grids later. So all right, number four. Sapphire quartz and a blend of azurite and malachite. So stones that vibrate with the number four, bloodstone, emeralds, kyanite. Moonstone, silver, sodalite, tiger eye, and uh, um, and pretty much. Let me see. I would say I would add one more to that. Rhyolite, because I didn't drop that down. I just thought of that right now. So, a note about tiger eye. You may say it's spelled tiger's eye. Um, you may uh or tiger eye and other sources according to the national um. Society Field Guide to North American Rocks. Field Guide to North American Rocks and uh, Minerals. And the name is Tiger Eye. 
tiger eye. So, and the reason why I jotted this all down is because I don't want to forget. I, I want to cover everything that I think, you know, people want to know and want to work on their life path and can bring this into the magical manifestation of their desires and just keep moving forward. So, um, let's get back to it. Um, okay. So that's the spelling I use. In this case, um, the spelling of gem names could change its number. Yes, that is true. Um, four is the number of earth energy. For the four classic elements, so, um, solidarity, crossroads, discipline, will order, practicality, endurance, efficiency, materiality, and instinct. Um, this was the root of all things, the perfect number. It was order symbolic of the divine. Balance, the first geometrical solid. The soul consisting of the four powers. Um, mind, science, opinion, and sense. So, four was associated with God, Mercury, Hercules, Vulcan, and Bacchus. Um, the planet Uranus wasn't known in time, in, the, in, the, in them times. So, four is the number of the sign of Aquarius, the planet Uranus. A grid based on the four represent stability. So, you can use them. Sorry, I'm going to be smoking my vapor. <laughs> Trying to quit smoking. Next best thing. And they taste so good. <laughs> they have like sugar donuts and stuff, but let me get off. Let me knock it off topic. So life path number five. Stones that vibrate. Um aquamarine, platinum, and silver. And carnelian and peridot. Five represents humanity and life. It's self protection. Love, reproduction, regeneration, strength, intelligence, the five senses of freedom, communication, struggle, confusion, um, experiences, um, called this, um, the union of odd and even. Sacred symbol of light, health, and vitality. A perfect division of the, let me say something, I can't even read my own handwriting when I'm jotting on my notebook. Um. On my phone here. A perfect division of the perfect number 10. It also contains the fifth element. Either five is symbolic of nature, only five and six when um, when multiplied themselves end in their original number. Four plus one, the element plus the monad equal five. The pentagram is a sacred symbol of life and associated with goddess Venus. The planet Venus makes a five-fold pattern in its orbits the sun. We find fives everywhere in nature, even in a physical form, and associated with the planets and Venus, Mercury, astrological signs, Gemini, and Virgo use five in grids for a pentagram shape, one of the oldest magic symbols. So you could use um, a bunch of them stones. Or maybe this will be chapter one. Chapter 2, I can set up the grids and go through it step by step with you. That's what I would like to do. So for 6, life path 6. Opal and copper. Stones that vibrate with 6 is bloodstone, citrine, jade, labradite, um, onyx, and topaz. 6 is like 4, the perfect number. Symbolizing, um, symbolizing beauty, union of consciousness, unconscious minds, balance, creation, perfect, whole, healing, love, wisdom, rep, um, responsibility, release, union of um, opposed opposites, idealism, loyalty, har harmony, um, and truthfulness. So this is pretty much um, a union of one, two, three, and its factors in one, two, three. This is one reason it's called the perfect number. 
Um, it symbolizes harmony in marriage, like I said. Um, and it's associated with Orpheus. Such as snowflakes and quartz crystals are built on the number six. A cube has six sides. And honeycombs and, hex and hexagrams, the astrological signs associated with uh, six are Taurus and Libra. Um, and also goddess with six, however, it corresponds to planet Venus based on the signs of Taurus and Libra. Grids using six represent harmony and perfection, healing and love. And so, I wanted to make sure everything, everybody's okay with that. Um, I'm going to cut cut to this video and we'll go past what seven, um, seven and then I'm going to stop and see what you guys would want me to do um, for the next video. I would love to just go through it and um, say what each karmic lesson is for our life path and... Um, if you guys want to hear more, then click the link, um, subscribe, and ring the little notification button, and I will continue. I would love to just, I'm just trying to give you guys like a quick, a quick rundown of, of what crystals you can use in your path that can help you. Um, if you don't know your life path, I can help you find it. So, your life path number. And number seven, amethyst, amethyst and emeralds. Stones that vibrate with seven are agate, fluorite, iolite. Pearl, platinum, sulfur, tin, and wolfenite. Um, seven represents perfect order, a mystic and sacred number. Higher learning, spirituality, magic, wisdom, law, intelligence, divinity, mystery, and solitude. Philosophy, the heptid, was the number of religion and life fortune. Judgment, dreams, and sounds. It was associated with the god Mars, plus four souls, plus worlds, equals the mystic nature of man, the threefold soul or spirit, spirit, mind, and soul. There are seven chakras, seven visible colors in the spectrum, and seven days of the week. Named for the seven celestial bodies of ancient times, associated with numbers. With the god Mars, seven is also associated with Osiris and the planet Neptune, based on its association with um, the sign of Pisces. Since the planet Neptune was not known to the in that and again in that time, the number seven has long been regarded as a mystery number among various religious traditions. Grid for wisdom, mystery, and spirituality are the pure purposes for grids using this number so I'm gonna stop there and we left off at number seven and number seven is mine so I wanted to get to that see what you guys think I mean you guys know me well enough um, if you don't know my old channel I'll link it below and we can continue and I will go down what what each life um, path is and go deeper into it. I just wanted to give you some information, get back on the videos, and I am just booming with energy and just wishing you love, wealth, happiness, joy, abundance, and blessings of everything in all matters. Blessings to you all. Bye.